I'm going to highlight two things that I believe are completely overlooked in the health industry. But first, a story. I was born in Ghana, West Africa. When my parents and I immigrated to the United States, nobody in my family had any issues with weight, blood pressure, cholesterol, or any of that. But over time, I slowly watched both parents develop some symptoms of these. And I've watched several immigrants struggle with just this. And they try the normal recommendations, the calories in, calories out. It worked for some but it didn't work for others and it didn't work permanently. After years of study and stumbling into some research by doctors, I realized that two things that were missing from the equation was one, the modern food environment and two, hijacked hormones. When I think of the way that my grandmother grew and prepared food, for example, it's completely different than what we're doing here. I mean, look at the corporations that are growing our food, transporting our food, preparing, cooking our foods for us. They're in business to make money. Think about it. If you you were one of these CEOs, what would your preferred advantage be? I would probably want a starving crowd that wants my product and never gets full. So they're always buying. So they create foods, genetically modified foods that grow bigger, that grow faster, and that are tastier and more addictive. But these foods don't necessarily nourish our body or satisfy us. It keeps us hungry for more, which is a great business model, not the best for our health.